in an economy where there aren't enough good jobs to go around, good nursing jobs are going begging. Between now and 2020, there will be a demand for about 1.6 million new nurses. Problem is that we're going to underproduce nurses by about 200,000 positions between now and then. Nursing is the largest profession in the healthcare industry and employs more women than any other profession save for teachers. But get this, 89% of nurses are women, but men still earn more. We're definitely gonna need more nurses than we're currently producing, and there's very many reasons for that. And first and foremost, nurses are aging. So as the baby boomers who are now currently nurses retire, we're definitely gonna need more nurses and new nurses to replace them. The second uh, reason we're gonna need more nurses actually has to do with Americans. Americans themselves are also aging. And as you age, you need to you know, go to the doctors more often, have increased access to healthcare. And what that means is by extension, you're gonna need more nurses to do that. The third and fourth reason that we're actually gonna need more nurses is related to Obamacare. Because of Obamacare, we now have more Americans with access to health care than ever before. And because we're going to try to find cost-saving ways, many nurses and nurse practitioners will do what doctors in the past were doing. So we're going to need more nurses to do that. And the fifth reason we're going to need more nurses has to do with something that's really peculiar to nurses. Many people who graduate with a degree in nursing and who have a nursing uh, license don't work as nurses. One of the ironies in the current nursing situation is that we could probably close the 200,000 nursing shortage by 2020 if we could accommodate all the people who are qualified to become nurses. Most people who want to become nurses never get there. About 51% of people who apply for associate's degrees in nursing aren't accepted because we don't have the faculty or facilities to accommodate them. And more than 58,000 people who are qualified for BA nursing degrees are not accepted either because we simply don't have the infrastructure to produce nurses in numbers on that scale. Nursing jobs are still in high demand it's an excellent opportunity with well-developed career pathways. And really the next step is for colleges and universities to figure out the best ways to increase the number of faculty, to provide an adequate amount of facilities so that we can graduate the amount of nurses we need for the jobs of the future. Mm -hmm.